All children are born with wings, but it's the teachers that make them fly. <laughs> so that's a good omen for you because there's books here for sale if you have children at home to encourage them for the poetry. And we have a good friend here for her from the north, Bobby Forrest, who comes here, and he will recite now one of Ledwich's poems. Bobby? Thank you, James. I'd like to read you a poem called June. It's one of France's uh, months and seasons poems. Broom out the floor now, lay the fender by, and plant the spice sucked by a wood by there, and let the window down. The butterfly floats in upon the sunbeam, and the fair tanned face of June, the nomad gypsy laughs above her white spread wares, the while she tells the farmer's fortunes in the fields, and quaffs the water from the spider people's wells. The hedges are all drowned in green grass seas, and bobbing poppies flare like Elmo's light, while siren like the pollen stained bee groans in the clover depths. And up the heights the cuckoo's voice is hoarse and broke with joy. And on the lowland crops the crows make raid, nor fear the clappers of the farmer's boy, who sleeps like drunken Noah in the shade. And look this red rose and that hazel ring that snares your little ear. For June is short, and we must joy in it and dance and sing. And from her bounty draw her rosy worth. Aye, soon the swallows will be flying south, the winds wheel north to gather in the snow. Even the roses split on youth's red mouth will soon go down the road. All roses go.